Uh, so we'll be looking at the science and technology part of uh, prelims paper 2021. So jumping on to the questions. So this question is based on uh, basic uh, science, so, but you need to have some clarity on the conceptual part. So this question says that water can dissolve more substances than any other liquid because it is dipolar in nature, it is a good conductor of heat, it has high value of specific heat, it is an oxide of hydrogen. Now these two statements are correct in themselves but they do not make water a good solvent. So now let us look what quality makes water a good solvent. So let us look at the structure of water. Water has a polar structure. What it means that the oxygen has negative charge and hydrogen have positive charge. So when we add salt, now sodium has positive charge and chlorine has negative charge. What happens is that oxygen huddles around sodium and hydrogen huddles around chlorine. And as a result, the bond between them is broken. This will be clear in the next slide. So here you can see that around sodium ion oxygen huddles and around the chlorine ion the hydrogen huddles. So it is the polarity in water that makes it a good solvent. So the correct answer in this case will be A. Moving on to the next question. Now this is also a basic question. The government is pushing for LED LED lights. In 2015 it had uh, launched the Ujwala scheme and also it had started a program for lighting the streets uh, with LED lights. So it has asked a question based on the conceptual part. So what it says, the first statement, sodium lamps produce light in 360 degrees but it is not so in the case of LED lamps. So now we look at this statement. So if you look at a sodium lamp, it is basically there is a filament inside a glass. So what happens when electricity is passed is that this filament glows and sodium vapor is filled inside and this produces light in 360 degrees direction. But in case of LED, light produced is in one direction. So the first statement comes out to be correct. So the first statement is so the first statement is correct. The second statement as street lights, sodium lamps have longer lifespan than LED lamps. Now this is an incorrect statement because sodium lamps have an average life of around 24,000 hours to 25,000 hours whereas an LED light has a la life of about 25,000 hours to 2 lakh hours. So this is a wrong statement. Now moving on to the third statement. The spectrum of visible light from sodium lamp is almost monochromatic while LED lamps offer significant color advantages in street lighting. What is the meaning of monochromatic? It means single color. So we know that sodium, it produces light in the yellow color region. So this statement is also correct. So the correct answer would be option C. Moving on to the next question. Now this question 
was quite in news and it has been in news during the pandemic times. This question is about the term ACE2 is talked about in the context of ACE2 is basically a receptor in human cell and this is one of the uh, cause uh, for COVID virus because these are receptor cells which catch the COVID virus. So we'll look into the diagram of this before reaching the answer. So what is ACE2? This is basically a protein receptor. This is a protein receptor which are found on human cells. They are found in the areas of nose, in tongue, in lungs, in heart, in colon area. So what they do is that they receive the COVID virus and this makes the <coughs> the ent this becomes the entry point for the COVID virus. Now recent studies have all found that earlier uh, they were found only in lungs and colons but recent studies point that ACE2 receptor viruses are found also in nose and in mouth area. Also studies have pointed that <coughs> increased use of cigarettes increases the concentration of ACE2 virus thus increasing your vulnerability towards the COVID virus pandemic. Now moving on to the next question. So the answer for this, this question is spread D, sorry, D spread of viral diseases. Moving on to the next question. Now this question, I would consider it uh, on a tougher side. Uh, now let us see what it is. Bisphenol A, a cause of concern is a structural key component in the manufacture of which of the following kinds of plastics. Now these four, they are all kinds of plastics. There are seven kinds of plastics, which you should know, which are commonly used. Oh, sorry. These are the four types of uh, plastic. There are seven types of plastics. So this is a bisphenol A. This is an industrial chemical used specifically in production of polycarbonate plastics. Now there is a general movement against use of plastics but there is a specific movement against this industrial chemical bisphenol A because it is very it causes many health disease, uh, health issues. So let us look at what are the health issues it causes. So as you can see from the diagram it causes many uh, diseases such as the respiratory diseases, cardiovascular diseases, obesity, depression cancer, inflammation. So it is because of these reasons that uh, there is a movement against bisphenol and uh, UPSC has tried to check your awareness about this industrial chemical. So now moving on to the next question. Now this question can also be considered on tougher aspect, on tougher side. So triclosan considered considered harmful when exposed to high levels for a long time is most likely present in which of the following food preservatives fruit ripening substances reused plastic containers and toiletries so there was a news in 2016 in 2016 fda banned the use of this chemical triclosan in soaps in usa so this is a chemical which is used in uh, various products it is used in uh, Toothpastes. There is some advantages of using it in a toothpaste, uh, such as in Colgate, it is used. It helps in reducing gingivitis.
It is also used in antibacterial soaps, in cosmetics, and in variant various cleaning supplies. So the answer to this question would be toiletries. That is option D. Moving on to the next question. Now, which one of the following is a reason why astronomical distances are measured in light years? Now, this is also a basic question, but you need to have a clarity on this. However, you can you could have reached the answers just by elimination technique. So, let us look at the first option distance among stellar bodies do not change now this is an incorrect statement because as we know even between earth and sun the distance changes around the year the gravity of stellar bodies the gravity of stellar bodies does not change now this is also an incorrect statement when two stars collide or when black holes collide so the gravity changes gravity is dependent upon the mass so if the mass changes so gravity changes light always travels in a straight line this is also an incorrect statement because around black hole the light bends and this is a famous phenomena so this statement is also incorrect so we land up on this speed of light is always same now speed of light is always same in vacuum in case of light passing through water the speed reduces by 25 percent so you need to be aware that speed of light changes in different mediums but in case of astronomical distances we consider that it is a vacuum so we consider that speed of light is always the same so this is the correct answer moving on to the next question Now this question is again based on uh, biotechnology and quite in news because of the COVID pandemic. So this question is uh, regarding recombinant vector vaccines. Consider the following statements. Genetic engineering is applied in the development of these vaccines. Bacteria and viruses are used as vectors. Which of the statement give, given below is correct? So you need to be aware of different types of vaccines that are used or uh, being produced to fight the COVID pandemic. So recombinant vector vaccine is one type of vaccine. So in this what is done is that a modified virus is injected human is injected in the human body and this generates the immune, re, uh, immune response. So first we need to understand what are the different types of vaccines. So as you know, there are vaccines which are based on live and attenuated viruses. There are vaccines based on killed viruses. There are other types of vaccines which use specific units of the protein of uh, the virus or the bacteria. We have the viral vectored vaccines. We have bacterial vectored vaccines. So we see that there are different types of vaccines and the vector can be both virus and bacteria. In the next slide we can see that this is a COVID virus and what we do is that we extract a genetic part of the genetic material from the virus and then we insert it in a inactive virus which is a harmless virus and then this is injected in a human cell. Then what it does is that a <clears throat> spike protein is produced and based on this spike protein the immune system produces antibodies and these antibodies huddle around the <clears throat> spike proteins and stops the replication. So this is how the recombinant vector vaccine works. So the correct answer in this question would be That both the statements are correct so the correct answer would be 
C. Now moving on to the next question. Now this question is also based on biotechnology and this uh, was quite in news uh, from past two, three years because in UK a three parent uh, baby system was allowed. So that three parent baby uh, is based on this concept of mitochondrial disease. So let us first understand what is a mitochondrial disease. So one of the unique aspect of mitochondrial inheritance disease is that this is a father. And this is an infected mother. So this disease passes from an infected mother to her daughter or to her son. So only this disease is passed only from mother to their <coughs> to the children. So this is a unique aspect of this mitochondrial inheritance disease. So, if, so according to that, second statement is correct. Now we have to look at the first statement. Passing on mitochondrial disease from parent to child can be prevented by mitochondrial replacement therapy either before or after in vitro fertilization of egg. Now we will have to look into this, how a three parent baby is born. So there are two ways of doing that. So in, in the first case, what is done is that <coughs> this is the mother. Now, th these are the faulty mitochondrial DNA. So what is done is that the healthy nuclear DNA is removed and uh, it is transplanted in a healthy donor's egg cell. First, uh, the nucleus was removed and this nucleus was transferred to this healthy nuclear to the healthy egg cell and then it was fertilized with the father's cell <clears throat> in the second case in second case what is done is that first fertilization is done and then <coughs> the and then the fertilized nucleus material is transferred to the healthy egg cell of a donor mother. So <clears throat> by this we now know that even the first statement was correct. So even this first statement is correct, second statement is correct so the answer is C in this case. So now moving on to the next question. Now this is a interesting question and I know many uh, controversies would arise in this question. So let us look at this question uh, very critically. In a pressure cooker the temperature at which the food is cooked depends mainly upon which of the following. Area of the hole in the lid. Area of the hole in the lid. Temperature of the flame. Weight of the lid. Now these two statements are correct. We have to look at this aspect, weight of the lid. Does it have an impact or is it a determinant on the temperature of the food cooked in a pressure cooker? So now let us look at a diagram of a pressure cooker. Now this is a pressure cooker's diagram. So this hole, sorry. this whole upper part is called the lid so and this is the valve and the whistle so if the weight of the whistle is higher then it can withstand higher pressure so there will be higher temperature inside but does it mean that if the weight of the lid is more then it will have an impact on the temperature food cooked inside 
let us imagine if you keep books on this lid will it impact the temperature of the food inside so according to me the weight of the lid does not impact the temperature of the, of the food being cooked inside had it been the weight of the valve or the whistle or the ct which we know in hindi then it would have been a determinant of the temperature of the food being cooked inside so the answer would be so the first and the second statement are correct so the answer would be a 1 and 2 only however only upsc is the final judge so we'll know the right answer only a, a year later now moving on to the next question now this is a easy question if you would have been covering the news because this has been in news from the past 4 or 5 years bolgard 1 and bolgard 2 technologies are mentioned in the context of it was in the context of bt cotton so the correct answer is developing genetic modified crop plants so this is the correct answer and this is a easy question i guess moving on to the next question consider the following bacteria fungi and virus which of the above can be cultured in an artificial or synthetic medium so as you know a virus it needs a living organism to replicate so it cannot be replicated in a artificial or synthetic medium so the correct answer would be 1 and 2 moving on to the next question this is also a question uh, which is prevalent in the present pandemic times consider the following statements adeno viruses have single stranded dna genomes whereas retroviruses have a double stranded dna genomes so we look into this statement but look at the second statement first common cold is sometimes caused by an adeno virus whereas aids is caused by a retrovirus which of the following statement given is are correct so we know that adeno viruses are one of the most common type of viruses adeno viruses are common type of viruses and it causes common cold flu as we know and also the covid virus uh, covid pandemic retroviruses are unique viruses and they cause serious uh, diseases such as aids and cancer so if you look at here so retroviruses are rna they are rna sorry retroviruses are rna based and not dna based also they cause serious diseases and adeno viruses are double stranded dna viruses and not single stranded so if you look at the statements in the question adeno viruses are single stranded dna this is incorrect whereas retroviruses have double stranded dna genomes this is also incorrect because retroviruses are rna based so the correct answer would be c or oh, sorry b so these are the 12 questions of science and technology part uh thank you